Hi guys, just a quick video on uh, uh, helping a chick out of the egg. Uh, I've just about managed to uh, break the air, air pocket off, the air sac. So that bit uh, above here was the air sac as you can see. Uh, now what I'm going to do, this chick has been about nearly 30 hours she's trying to hatch and it, it seems she's actually uh, over 24 hours, because it's been over 24 hours she's kind of stuck inside the egg now. Um, and she needs help freeing out. So what I'm going to do basically, I don't know if you can see that tweezer where I'm pointing it out, but we can clearly see that's actually a clear shell there. Nothing more, which we can just simply and carefully break a small amount at a time. But what you want to be careful of is this. Now watch this. There you go, I think I'm already come across it now. Now if you look at that carefully, I don't know how focused that would be. Um, but now if I pull that off, you could just about see inside there, it's actually stuck to the skin of the chick. Now if I just yank that bit of shell off uh, all the way around, she'll bleed to death. Or he'll bleed to death. Um, so what I'm going to do is, point it here. I've got some lukewarm water here. Uh, what I'm going to do is get a little small amount of droplets, just watch a beak, um, just make sure you're well away from a beak, here's a beak over here, so I'm not going to go anywhere near her beak, I'm going to put small amounts of warm water in th this part of the shell, so it'll run down the shell over here like that, and um, that warm water will actually free her up. Now, I can't express how important it is, do not get it near her beak, whatever happens. And as you get this warm water in, you would realise that this shell would start to sort of loosen up. And whatever you do, still do not yank it away from the skin of the chick. Uh, there you go. I mean, I don't want to yank that away as well now. Here, I'm come, I've come across another little... The, the same situation here now look what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of warm water on it and let the shell separate from the chick before I take any action at all yeah as you can see the chicks doing majority of it itself uh, but if it doesn't and if it's really stuck and you have one worse than this one here you would want to take it into very very one or two or three ml millimeters at a time and you just want to see basically what you're doing to make sure you're not kind of pulling anything off in a hard way like this little tiny piece here i just want to make sure i'm not pulling away in a hard way so i'm i'm, I'm in a bit of doubt here so i'm not going to pull this i'm going to let the water do its job for a few more seconds and maybe put a touch more on there we go and hopefully and I'm going to hold the egg this way just to make sure uh, the water doesn't make away towards the beak and I would love to put a little bit few droplets over here but I just don't want to get near the beak and I might just hold it this way to make sure any water would run that way and her beaks on the top side so there's no way the water would get to the beak I mean, what I'm apparently going to do, this chick's, chick looks like it's doing quite well. So, I'm not actually going to help you out the chick out the egg all, all together. I mean, uh, I'm not going to help her out the egg all the way. You know, I've just pulled another little piece off, step by step. And what I'm actually going to do, in fact, is... I'm actually going to put a few more droplets of water down these areas over here, which I just showed you. And then, I'm going to put it back into the incubator and let her do the rest yeah so i'm gonna leave it at that for now guys and uh and i'll uh, uh i'll show you at the end once uh, once it's hatched
Okay guys, I've got this buddy here. I managed to work through the egg to this sort of a level. And it looks like she's actually gonna pop out any second now. Uh, I didn't really wanna break her out of the embryo. So what I actually did in fact was gradually peel the shell off but leave the embryo where it is. So in the worst scenario, I won't move the embryo away from the skin and bleed her to death. Uh, at the worst, uh, the embryo would just stay st stuck to her skin until another few hours after she's hatched or something uh, and there's a buddy uh, she's actually gonna come out any minute but in fact since there's no more signs of blood veins and it's all absorbed and dried out now um, I might just help her out a little bit at the embryo here I'm not gonna do too much Again, if you see any blood signs, or if I would have saw any blood veins here, I would not have done what I'm doing now. By the way, when I did actually, um, when I did actually t uh, open the air sac up, the shell from the air sac, it did have a lot of signs of uh, blood veins. And at one point it made me think of uh, maybe, you know, popped it open too early. Uh, the reason I did that was because it was well over 24 hours and um, the movements were getting low and just, she just wasn't coming out of the egg and, and that normally dries out at that point and there you go. If I doubt at any point uh, feel free to use a bit of water um, just at the ed edges over here like I'm, like I'm peeling this off now. Yeah, what I'm going to do guys, she's basically hatched now, I mean as you can see, I mean I don't want to disturb her too much just to show you guys that she's come, uh, he's come, he or she's come out of the egg. Uh, so I'm not going to carry on any more now, but I'm actually going to put her back into the beta and uh, let, her, let it come out itself. Um, I mean you can pretty much see that now, that, she, that, that it's actually out of the egg now, so... Thanks for watching and I'll show you um, a little clip at, towards the end of the video. Thank you.